I went into medicine because it's all I ever really wanted to do. I think my parents knew that from a very early age when uh, as a, a child I actually asked my mom for a pair of scissors and some thread and I took the appendix out of my teddy bear. As a child growing up in the Bronx, I was uh, always in the hospital uh, suffering from asthma. And I had a physician, a family physician, who was always able to somehow make me better. And I always looked up to him and said, you know, I want to try to be like him. My mother is a veterinarian, and so from the time I was really young, I spent a lot of time in her office. And it was interesting to me to see her explain something that was very difficult to understand to someone, but showing compassion every step of the way. And that really led me into the humanities part of medicine. One of the reasons I um, opted to be a physician was because this is something which enables me to help somebody. As, as a kid, my dad uh, died when I was uh, pretty young, so I'm um, nine years old. And um, from then on, I sort of uh, developed an, an interest. Our emergency room is extremely busy on an everyday occasion. And in fact, it's getting busier uh, as the years progress. Especially in the ER, you see the worst of the worst in the beginning. You see traumas, children. Um, it's kind of the sometimes the worst of what you'll see as people. The uh, perception of medicine is that you give back. There isn't any financial concerns. Once you get in the profession, you are surprised to realize that medicine is a business still and that in the end money still has to come in in order to keep the doors open. As a physician I have always strived to be the best that I can be academically and sometimes as we progress in our field um, there's things that we can't meet so we have to figure out what are the things that are the most important to us and what are the things that are okay if we can ask for help. I think um, you, you kind of get used to uh, always playing catch up um, and that eventually it leads to just fatigue. 20, 30, 70 years ago, physicians worked hard. They worked just as hard as they do today. And I think as we've gotten to a more technological era and the way physicians work has separated them or put up a barrier between them and their patients and sometimes them and their colleagues. They don't interact as much. It almost feels like you have a third person in the room who's really not related to the patient or to the doctor. And you're staring at the computer when you want to chart. And the patient sometimes feels, hey, I'm in the room here, you're, you're ignoring me. You see a patient who uh, is not taking their medication and you think, well, they just don't care about themselves. Or, and, and, and yet once you get the bigger picture about a patient, it's very different. As a family physician, I made many house calls. And I'll tell you, I learned so much about a patient just walking into their house. In my office on the back of my door, I have um, uh, thank you cards and uh, greetings from patients. And that somehow picks me back up and allows me to keep on moving forward. between college and medical school. I remember going to the Tate Gallery and seeing that painting. I find it very characteristic of my practice to not do anything if I don't think I can help. And sometimes doing no harm means intervening, because if you don't do something, you're gonna be doing harm. Sometimes it means not doing anything. Your presence there can be comforting. I find the painting comforting. I think spirituality does have a very important role in medicine, especially when we think of so many things that we still don't know the perfect answers for. Seeing the progression and seeing them improve overall health-wise is probably one of the most rewarding things ever. In this challenge of trying to go through the day, we forget that at heart we, we, are, we went into this profession for healing, that we are healers. The need to help people is what made me feel like becoming a doctor. I went into medicine 
in part because of the science and the logic. That developed a little later in my life. I went into medicine because as that really young child, I saw an ability to help people, to listen and to care and to translate that into some sort of action. Sometimes just a talk gets patients to what they need to have. We've lost with all the technology some of the humanity. Bring the humanity back in.